this is also most important theorem root of the perpendicular theorem if q of h comma k is the root of the perpendicular from p of x1 y1 on the line ax plus by plus c equals to 0 then prove that h minus x1 is to a equals to k minus y1 is to b equals to minus of ax1 plus by1 plus c is to a square plus b square or h minus x1 by a equals to k minus y1 by b equals to minus of ax1 plus by1 plus c by a square plus b square also find the root of the perpendicular from minus 1 comma 3 on the line 5x minus y minus 18 equals to 0 so here this is given line ax plus by plus c equals 0 ax plus by plus c equals to 0 but here any point p of x1 y1 and draw the perpendicular line to the line ax plus by plus c equals to 0 so so here q is the q lies on the line ax plus by plus c equals 0 this is foot q is the foot of p q is the foot of p Now find the Q root of the perpendicular from P. So if Q of H comma K is the foot of the perpendicular from P of X1 Y1 on the line AX plus B Y plus C equals to 0. So let Q of H comma K is the foot of foot of the perpendicular from p of x1 y1 with respect to the line line a x plus b y plus c equals to 0 a x plus b y plus c equals to 0 c is 1 So here PQ is perpendicular to the line AX plus BY plus C equals to 0. So P point X1, Y1 and Q point H comma K. So here PQ perpendicular to AX plus BY plus C equals to 0. So, if the two lines are perpendicular, product of their slopes equals minus 1. So, here slope of slope of PQ into slope of equation 1 that is AX plus BY plus C equals to 0. So, two lines are perpendicular, the product of their slopes equal minus 1. M1 into M2 equals minus 1. Slope of PQ. So y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So here y2 is k. Slope form in m1 is equals that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. And m2 is equals so ax plus by plus c equals 0. Slope of ax plus by plus c equals 0 is minus a by b. So line of form in t minus a by b slope of pq two points formula slope of two points formula that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 you can also prove y2 into k k minus y1 k minus y1 by h minus x1 h minus x1 into slope of equation 1 that is minus a by b in slope and minus a by b minus a by b equals to minus 1 so minus minus cancel so k minus y1 by b equals to h minus x1 into 1 h minus x1 into 1 h minus x1 by k now write h minus x1 by a equals to k minus y1 by b equals to say something lambda 
say something lambda. So h minus six one by a equals to lambda. H minus six one by a equals to lambda, and k minus five one by b equals to lambda. Now simplify. H minus six one is equals a into lambda a lambda. H is equals take right side. Plus six one plus a lambda and k minus y one is equals b lambda k equals y one plus b lambda so but q of h comma k so q of h comma k lies on the line a x plus b y plus c equals to zero but Q of h comma k lies on the line a x plus b y plus c equals to zero. Now substitute h is equal to x and y is equal to k. K into substitute x equal to h substitute and a h plus b into y is equal to k. B k plus c is equal to zero. So a into so we can get change to change. So h is equals x one plus a lambda. X one plus a lambda plus b into k is equals y one plus b lambda. Y one plus b lambda plus c equals to zero. So a into x one a x one plus a into a lambda a square lambda plus b into y one b y one plus b into b lambda b square lambda. Plus c equals to zero. So here lambda common lambda into a square plus b square equals to so minus six one take right side my sorry plus six one take right side minus six one. So plus b y one take right side minus b y one minus c. So here lambda is equals take your minus common a x one plus b y one plus c by a square plus b square. So let this is um, two. Uh, say this is three. From two and three. From two and three, we get so equation is h minus six one. H minus x one by a equals to k minus y one by b equals to lambda. So lambda equal to current function. Man, we get lambda equals substitute here. So minus a x one plus b y one plus c by a square plus b square or H minus x one is to a equals to k minus y one is to b equals to minus of a x one plus b y one plus c is to a square plus b square. Next, also find the foot of the perpendicular from minus one comma three on the line phi x minus phi minus eighteen equals to zero. So. Solution. Let h comma k be the root of minus one comma three with respect to the line. Line given line is phi x, phi x minus phi minus eighteen equals to zero. So phi x minus y minus eighteen equals to zero. So let this is x one y one. So here a is equals phi and b is equals minus one and c is equals minus eighteen. So foot of the perpendicular form and h minus x one by a equals to k minus y one by b equals to minus half. A x one plus b y one plus c by a square plus b square. 
माइनस ऑफ ए एक्स वन प्लस बी वाई वन प्लस सी बाई ए स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर अपनी फॉर्मूला सब लिया नहीं एच माइनस एक्स वन एक्स वन इक्वल्स माइनस वन माइनस माइनस प्लस वन बाई ए ए इक्वल्स टू फाइव के माइनस फाइव वन बाई वन इक्वल्स थ्री बाई बी इज इक्वल्स माइनस वन माइनस ऑफ ए ए इज इक्वल्स फाइव इनटू एक्स वन एक्स वन इक्वल्स माइनस वन बी इक्वल माइनस वन इनटू वाई वन थ्री सी माइनस एटीन फाइव ए स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस माइनस वन होल स्क्वेयर सो माइनस ऑफ फाइव इनटू माइनस वन माइनस फाइव माइनस वन इंटू थ्री माइनस थ्री माइनस एटीन बाई फाइव स्क्वेयर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस माइनस वन होल स्क्वेयर वन माइनस माइनस फाइव माइनस थ्री माइनस एट माइनस एट माइनस एटीन माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स वन जा माइनस इंटू माइनस वन प्लस वन सो नाउ यू क्वेट एक प्लस वन एच प्लस वन बाई फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू वन एंड ए माइनस थ्री बाई माइनस वन इक्वल्स टू वन और सिंपलीफाई एच प्लस वन एच प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू फाइव इंटू वन फाइव एच इक्वल्स फाइव माइनस वन एच इक्वल्स फोर के माइनस थ्री इक्वल्स माइनस वन इंटू वन माइनस वन के इक्वल्स माइनस वन प्लस थ्री के इक्वल्स टू फिर फोर एच का मैं के इज इक्वल्स फोर का मैं टू दिस इज़ द फुट ऑफ़ द गिवन पॉइंट